What's up guys, this is Redneck Texan 22 back again with another gameplay commentary. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a member of the clan TRE, that's the Roman Empire, and I'm in the Big Team Battle Legion Fallen. You can check us out at clantre.org. Uh, check the show more box for a link to that. Uh, this is actually the first video of a new series called Big Team Battle Tips and Tricks. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, I'll be playing Big Team Battle TU Capture the Flag on Wayant. And uh, if you notice, I pick Invis for my loadout off the bat. And uh, one of the first things you're going to notice is our team. We just got a really good team. Uh, you see I get the first strike there off the bat because I'm checking. Uh, I know that generally the other team's going to want to rush their rockets. So they're going to go after their rockets. So I look over there with my DMR, get the first shot. Um, all right, so I like to pick up the concussion rifle because my job on this team, just as I've played with these guys, we know how each other's play style is. I generally camp the center, and I provide a lot of support suppressive fire with my DMR. I get a lot of shots on people, get a lot of kills, a lot of assists. And I also help take out vehicles, as you can see I'm doing right here with this concussion rifle. So I like to hold on to that and use that if somebody tries to get in the center, too, for my close range weapon. You can see I flip over that hog and call them out and let my teammates clean it up. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of my position. That support player, vehicle control, you know, controlling the center. Um, so that's why I like to use invis because it's pretty open here in the center. So especially where I like to push out, I like to use this little column here on both sides. There's a column. I use that as a little bit of, um, you know, cover just for whichever side of that I'm on, just so I have some cover. Because when you're invis, when you start shooting, you pop out of invis for a little bit. So uh, you can see I'm just putting a lot of shots, getting a lot of headshots. Guys are starting to rush up in the center. I'm, I'm just pressing them back. Um, what's also nice about here in the center is there's a health pack and there's two frag grenade spawns and it's also where the neutral bomb spawn neutral bomb spawns if you guys uh, play neutral bomb on this map so <laughs> yeah I'm just providing a lot of cover doing a lot of call outs uh, you're gonna see us doing a lot of spawn camping you see right now our basic strategy is we got guys spread out over the map we got a few guys pushing into their base we got a guys running a hog which really just keeps the other team pushed back into their base and then we rush guys in uh, through their cave, as you can see, Zelo and FB going over there through their cave, um, just just pushing them back out, slaying them, causing them to spawn outside. Uh, get that one v one there, right in the center on that guy. Get my health pack, as you can see, it's very handy there. Um, we're just giving a lot of calls, so I'm calling out that they're rushing in the base, so FB can turn around and get that guy, which he does. Uh, you're going to notice a spawn camping now. We're going to force their spawns in, in a few places. One of the main ones over here is the rocket spawn. you got to spawn right there in the center where that guy just spawned his shotgun. There's also their high cave. Um, also, sometimes people call that the spawn cave. We've got their low cave or just or the cave there. They spawn out there. So that's why we always got guys positioned over there. Uh, they're going to spawn inside their base. So we got, you know, you can see uh, BDR and Zelo there shooting into their base and handling that. I got... And I'm providing support on all those spawns because I can see every single one of those spawns. So this is a really powerful position. Yeah, so you just see our teamwork. We're calling out. Sometimes I like to shoot up. I've got that marked where I can hit their stationary hog. Now, he pulled out before my shots could get there, but I've practiced that shot. I went into custom games or in games when people have quit out, and I, I practiced shooting so I can shoot their hog stationary back into their base with that concussion from across the map. So... I'm calling them out that they got their rockets, uh, they're pushing forward, I'm calling out how many shots are on them, like he's two shot, he's one shot now, and I'm calling that out, uh, and you can see Snipes cleans up that kill, you see BTB up there in a very powerful position over there on the rocket rock, he's up there, and, you, and I can give him uh, backup as guys go over there, it's just a little bit late on that, he got killed, but I got the Avenger there, uh, but I can give him back out, we're kind of working over there uh, together on that side, um, so it's just very powerful teamwork there. And that guy just has no idea what's going on. He can't see me because I'm invis. He doesn't know where he's getting shot from. Uh, spawning rockets and dying like five seconds into his spawn. So very powerful stuff we got going on here. So now uh, I'm just listening for call outs, trying to spot the guys. I think at this point we're working on our first flag cap. Uh, so they're trying to get that out of the base. I think there was a call out that a guy got back towards our side. So I'm just going over here to check that out. I'm, I'm also picking up some new ammo. 
uh, because nothing else really spawns in the center when you got to get a new concussion. Uh, you got to drop it first. So I can see they're really pushing in on the base here on me. So I'm picking up this concussion. I'm going to use it as close range. And you can see the splash damage is very powerful in that little uh, nook there. You got some, um, you know, you got uh, corners there. He gets trapped in, and that the concussion stops him from moving and gets him trapped. And this just like chamber of death there is what I make out of that. And, I'm going over here, I'm picking up two different DMRs because I have been using a ton of DMR ammo, so I just reloaded, got a full 75 rounds now, and I'm just back to spawn camping with guys. I don't see anybody now, so I'm trying to conserve my invis, but when I start seeing people, you see I pop into that invis the second I start seeing guys and I start putting shots on them. I don't know what that guy was doing trying to get in the passenger seat there. Obviously, I'm calling out this guy now over uh, here at their wet cave, got guys pushing up there. I think... Uh, we, we've found out that they're all spawning in their cave. They're all turtling pretty hard. Uh, they're up there in the top, as you can see. So just calling it out. We got a few guys pushing in, and I'm giving them the support. <coughs> Once again, you want to call out how you know they're spawning rockets. One shot, one shot. Okay, MLG is going to clean that up, and then I can give him running some riot. cover fire up there. I can get a kill. Pick up my running riot there. Nice, it's 15 kills now without dying. Um, so I'm seeing. I call this over here their plat, their platform. That's what I call that, and their. Uh, you know, we got the right side dish or bowl or whatever you guys want to call it. So I'm kind of in charge now of over on this area as I see my team is pushing pretty heavily up the center. You know, that this right side was, was open. So I had to cover that for a little bit because they spawn over there. And I don't want them to get behind our spawn trap. And now that I went moved back to the center, I could see that they killed off our guy over at Rocket Rock. So now I'm protecting the left side and stopping them from getting over towards our plat and our dish and our wet cave. Um, I can... Uh, you know, just I'm swinging back and forth, providing support wherever it is. You know, just hearing my teammates as they call out when they die, or just what I see on the map. And now I'm calling out the spawn so the hog can help pick up some of those kills too. Uh, so you know, I'm just just all over the place. That's how I love to play this. Now I'm, I see Xylus has some needs some help there. I get the kill on that guy, and you know, great teamwork there, keeping him alive, keeping Rampage. him pushed up. I'm calling that the rockets are out so somebody can come over and help pick him up. Uh, I think I actually end up going over to get those because nobody's still picking them up. I'm calling them out. Nobody wants them. So I'm like, all right, this is too important. They can't, they're going to spawn right there. So I decide to push over here, uh, but I still have a ton of concussion. So, you know, I'm going to waste some of this concussion just to leave them with an empty concussion. It's still got seven shots in it, but uh, they're going to have to reload it and it'll probably despawn in about five or six seconds. So I got these rockets now great for close quarters. Perfect for here in the center where I have a lot of things to bounce them off. You know, Play. I can shoot a long, long range rocket if I want into their base and I can just hold on to him for a little bit. So I see that the enemy has our flag and Xylos of course calls that out. He's kind of pissed. He just spawned back there and got killed. Somehow they got behind us. I have no idea. Uh, so my teammates are going back there to clean him up so I don't have to worry about that. I'm trying to help keep them contained in their base while a few of our guys head back. So I'm just doing all I can. Uh, getting assists, getting headshots, you know, keeping them on their toes. Uh, keeping them from pushing out. You know, I've got my assist free there, you know. If you're a support Play role player. Rob. Obviously, getting those assist sprees, getting the you know, second gunman and sidekicks. Those are great medals to get. Show off your skill there. Um, you can see I'm out of DMR. I got one shot left. So uh, I call out that I'm leaving the center so my uh, teammates know what's going on. And uh, there's about six or seven naturally spawning DMRs. I think there's actually eight on this map. There's two in the center, which get used up pretty quick. Then there's one by each Rocket Rock spawn, there's one by each platform, and then there's one by each wet cave. Lay. And uh, I think there's also one by each dish, so maybe that's like 10 total. So they're spread out, so I start working my way, getting those extra DMRs as I need them. I actually have had games where I've used up like all of the DMRs on the map, because I'm just always using shots. And I shoot off a long range rocket here because uh, I want to pick up that concussion, it's been sitting there for a while. Uh, call out that the rocket guy's dead, and you'll see FB push up to get those rocks because that's an important weapon to control. Um, there he goes, getting a kill. Anyway, so knowing where those DMR spawns very, very important because when you're when you if you decide to do this strategy where you're supporting in the center using a lot of ammo, uh, not many guys will rush you. You won't get a lot of kills right up around you, or they they might not happen all the time. So you're gonna run out of ammo. So you need to know where those DMR spawns because you can get them. They have like. 70 some odd rounds of them so they're really good to get you from like no ammo to like full ammo so uh, at this point I noticed they're really pushing hard on their plat side so I'm pushing up kind of dangerous here I'm out in the open uh, got that beat down on them got my untouchable now it's 25 kills without dying cleaning up kills over by the dish now like at this point I'm really excited see they're stealing our flag and I'm helping out back there I can just shoot anywhere I want on the map 
I'm just controlling this whole game right now with our teamwork. Play, obviously, it. my teammates are doing a lot of work too, so it's Play, not all just run. me. Um, you know, I'm just being patient. I have no shield, and I'm like two shots, so I'm, I'm just ducking down, waiting for it to come up, because I'm, you know, just got to be patient if you want to get those high screens. Uh, I'm going back using the health packs. I'm always trying to stay at like full health. Um, once again, those concussions, like three shots if you can get them right on it. Otherwise, it's about four or five. There's six shots in a clip, so it's very highly. You can get one kill to even two kills with just one clip of concussion. So I like to have it as my secondary when I'm up here. A little bit of miscommunication. The hog wanted to go through the center, and I was kind of blocking it, and then they got in the way of my shot. But uh, we figured it out anyway. Um, and uh, you notice there when I got uh, when I got one shot, I lost my shield. I ducked down. I, t I put my head all the way towards the ground, and I ran because I knew the map over to the other side. Uh, that stops them from shooting me in the back of the head and getting a lucky headshot. But rather, they'd have to shoot me in my body, which would take three shots to kill me while uh, I have no shield. So. Uh, if you notice, I run this flag kind of to the left here because I noticed when I picked it up that a lot of them were spawning center and to, the, and to their left by their rocket side. So I'm running it to the opposite side just to keep them from getting distant shots on me. Um, normally, you know, if you're in a different playlist, you might be able to MLG run a flag where you throw it, catch it, throw it, catch it. But it's a little bit harder at Big Team. They've changed how often you can like, pick up the flag. There's a little delay, so it's kind of hard to do. So I don't even try to do it there because I know we're not in a pressure situation. Um, after the TU update, though, it's been a little bit easier to do. So, but just run that. Try to stay, uh, you know, out of sight, and we get that flag cap. So, right back to the center now. Spawn camping them uh, using my invis, controlling the map. <clears throat> I don't know why these guys keep running out in the center, but uh, you know they're pretty disorganized. I see a couple of them uh, trying to get shots on us and stay undercover, but we have just got too many angles on them. You see, we have to force Titan back into their high cave, just sitting there. And the, now, when they try to use a power weapon, like they're trying to use that chain gun, we just got perfect position to get shots on them. And seeing them spawning in their base, so that they spawn, even if I don't kill them, they're still spawning with like no shield. They have to hide. And it just keeps so much pressure on them. But they're just so backed up into their base and we even got guys in there cleaning Play. them up so uh, once again i'm out of ammo and i see this guy's Play. down over here i think Whoa. that's one of my allies actually was killed right out in the open so i go pick up his dmr and uh Play. you can see Play. we're working on getting the third flag out of the base right now um we uh, great communication where pit ran it to the center turret there so that they couldn't get shots on him then he dropped down we had a mongoose waiting Invincible. for him perfectly uh now you see i'm invincible it's 30 kills in a row without dying I'm just really putting putting it on them right now, and I see three of them going their plat. Nobody's over there, so I'm gonna go over, put some suppressive fire, and I'm calling. You can see my teammates are giving me backup. Uh, here comes Silos in, getting a kill. I'm one shot, so I'm ducking down now. I don't want to lose my spree, so I'm just being patient. Silos is over here, full body. He's got his full shield and everything, so he's you know helping clean up that. Just great teamwork, great callouts, you know, helping each other. Now I'm a little exposed there, so you know they get the shots on me. So now I try this by using the rock as the cover, and I get a shot on this guy where none of those guys over there to the right can get any shots on me because I put that rock in between me and them. And now when they're distracted by Xylos over there, I can get him one shot and eventually clean up this kill here with a couple of nades, and I think I jump over and get him with a hip shot. Um, so just, you know, using that, that rock as a cover, using this platform here as cover, uh, as you can see, I'm still red bar, so I want to stay down. I'm going to grab some extra ammo here. Always keeping an eye on my ammo. This platform gives me some great angles to shoot up into their high cave, which luckily is right where they're spawning. So I'm able to get them one shot, call them out over there. My teammates are able to help clean them up. Now, you know, I realize it's pretty important. Uh, I'm working my way back over to the center, obviously getting some kills on my way.